Hi everyone, let's take a closer look at how you and your students can organize your Google Drive by creating folders. I've gone ahead and opened Google Drive in a browser window and you will see that I am currently in My Drive. Now My Drive is your home base. This is where you are going to find all of the folders you've created as well as files you've either created through Google Drive or in Google Apps like Slides, Docs, Drawings, and so forth. Now, one of the things we want to avoid, and I'm guilty of it too, is if I scroll down, you will see that I have a whole bunch of files that are loosely floating around in my Google Drive. This can make it difficult for me to find a file that I'm working on. So one of the better ways to organize is creating folders. Now, how you create a folder is simple. I can either click the plus new button in the top left corner and select new folder, or I can come to anywhere in my drive and right click and select new folder. Once I've selected new folder, I'm going to go ahead and give my folder a specific name and I'll click create. You can see that that folder has now been added in the grid of my folders in my drive. If I double click on it, I can see that it is an empty space ready for me to start creating work or saving files here. Now, one extra layer of organization is I can create folders inside of folders. I can simply right click or click the new button and select new folder and I can create a folder. Maybe I'm going to create a subject area folder for all of my subject area projects and I simply click create. All right, let's go back to my drive. So I have my folder and I've created a folder inside of it, but how do I make my folder stand out? Notice that as you create more and more folders, it can be a little challenging to find the right folder. So what we can do is we can make this a little bit more visual for ourselves. I can simply right click on the folder and I can actually change the color of the folder by simply clicking on change color and we can select a color from the color palette. I'm gonna go with green. Now, in addition to color coding our folder, we can also make the name of our folder stand out more. One of the things I like to do is add emojis to the name of my folder. And I like to use a site called emojipedia.org. Here you can search for a wide variety of free emojis. I simply enter my search and I'm looking for a school emoji. Notice that it gives me several different emojis. Let's take this one and I simply copy the emoji and we go back to Google Drive. I'm going to rename this folder so that I can add the emoji. Simply right click and select rename. And now to add that emoji at the beginning of the name, I'm simply going to use the keyboard shortcut control V to paste that in. Let's paste it at the end as well. Control V on your keyboard and then click OK. All right. So now we've made that folder a lot more visual. It should be easier to find as we create more and more folders. However, there is one more thing we can do to make sure that we always have easy access to this folder. We can star this folder. I simply right click on the folder and select add to starred. When I add a folder to starred, it is now added to the starred space. If I look in the far left menu, I will see starred. And when I click on it, you can see that that folder has been added. So I can star any folder that I create or that has been shared with me. I can also star any file or document. Starred can be a little less overwhelming, especially as you add more and more folders to your Google Drive.